Olivia's new song, The Grudge, has fans convinced she's taking aim at Taylor Swift. But is their feud real or just rumor? So what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Stars and Bars. Get comfy because today I have some major tea to spill about a rumored feud between pop superstars Olivia Rodrigo and Taylor Swift, and I need to discuss all the details with you guys. Now, as I'm sure all you music fans know, Olivia Rodrigo just dropped her highly anticipated sophomore album called Guts last week. As expected, fans were eagerly combing through the lyrics, analyzing every line for clues and hidden meanings about Olivia's personal life. Well, some sleuthing fans seem to have uncovered some very intriguing clues that suggest there is some serious bad blood brewing between Olivia and Taylor Swift. Specifically, lots of people are pointing to Olivia's emotional piano ballad on her new album called The Grudge as being about her apparent falling out with Taylor. I know this is pretty shocking tea, so let's dive deep into the possible references in the lyrics that have people convinced The Grudge is Olivia's takedown track aimed at Taylor Swift herself. In the very first verse, Olivia sings the lyrics, I have nightmares each week about that Friday in May, one phone call from you and my entire world was changed. Well, fans have noted that back in May 2021 was when the comparisons between Olivia's song Deja Vu and Taylor's song Cruel Summer went viral on TikTok. Then, just a couple months later, in July 2021, it was announced that Taylor Swift was retroactively being added to the official songwriting credits for Olivia's Deja Vu single, likely because of the similarities between the two songs that fans pointed out. So people think these lyrics are referring to the whole copyright dispute debacle from last year, where Olivia ended up having to give Taylor a songwriting credit and royalties for Deja Vu because of the similarities to Taylor's Cruel Summer. That phone call was probably when she got the news. If true, then this verse would seem to imply Olivia saw this whole situation as a betrayal that negatively changed her world and career, which is major shade. Moving to the bridge of the grudge, Olivia sings the lyrics, You built me up to watch me fall, you have everything and you still want more. Now, some fans suggest this scathing lyric could be calling out Taylor's character, implying Taylor is an established superstar who already has everything career-wise, but still wanted songwriting credit and royalties from Olivia's breakout hit single, too. Of course, we don't know Taylor's side of the story or if she even initiated the credit request, but the theory is that Olivia feels Taylor didn't need the credit and sabotaged her career progress. Big if true. Then we get to another possibly telling lyric where Olivia sings, I try to be tough, I try to be mean, but even after all this, you're still everything to me. Here, fans think she's acknowledging that even after the bitter copyright feud, Olivia still looks up to Taylor Swift and her music. So this could be showing that Olivia still has love for Taylor as an artist, even if their personal relationship is damaged. On top of these revealing lyrics, there are a few other subtle references in The Grudge that have theorists convinced Olivia is throwing shade at Taylor Swift. For example, right at the start of the song, the intro is exactly 13 seconds long before Olivia starts singing. As any Swifty knows, 13 is famously Taylor's lucky number that she incorporates into just about everything. So people see that very specific 13 second intro as an obvious nod to Taylor. There are also rumors that some lyrical phrases in The Grudge closely mirror phrases Taylor has used in her own songs over the years. But I won't get into all the nitty gritty lyrical analysis here. The point is, when you add up all of these clues and references, a lot of fans are completely assured that The Grudge is Olivia Rodrigo's scathing musical takedown of Taylor Swift herself. However, it is crucial to note that this is still speculation, fan theories, and rumors at this point. Neither Taylor's camp nor Olivia have publicly confirmed that The Grudge or any other Olivia songs are directly about Taylor Swift, these are just fan interpretations of purposefully vague songs, which Olivia and most artists use to add mystery and allow fans to apply their own meaning. However, the timeline of Olivia and Taylor's public friendship turning sour does add some credence to the feud rumors. Because let's do a quick recap. Back in early 2021, when Olivia's smash hit Driver's License first went viral, Taylor Swift was vocal online in praising the breakout single and young star Olivia Rodrigo. 
flash forward to now, after the Deja Vu credit issue, and the two singers have stopped interacting on social media and supporting each other's music releases. The snubbing began after that copyright dispute situation last summer, adding even more fuel to the fire. We can't forget about the fact that Olivia's rumored love triangle rival Sabrina Carpenter was just announced as the opening act for Taylor Swift's upcoming Eras tour. And reportedly, Olivia is feeling betrayed that Taylor would work with Sabrina after the rumors that driver's license was written about Sabrina. Again, totally rumors and speculation here, but you can see why fans are reading into the timeline of events. And now these the grudge lyrics to think Olivia is furious with Taylor and throwing shade at her in this new song. Some fans even say they prefer this beef and drama to the staged Katy Perry Taylor makeup. But I want to hear what you all think about this wild theory, because I'm just so curious what the general vibe is out there about all this tea. Do you buy into the idea that Olivia Rodrigo's new album Guts throws major shade at Taylor Swift with songs like The Grudge calling out their fallout? Or do you think fans are just reading way too much into vague lyrics and looking for drama that isn't really there? I could honestly see it going either way, but I need all your takes on this gossip. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. This gossip is juicy and I need all your opinions. Be sure to subscribe and to like this video if you want more tea and celebrity feud commentary from me. Thanks for watching and see you next time.